Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Honey Reshines. And for those who are joining me for the first time, welcome. So I'm pretty sure you guys can see my Diamond Shop box here on the side. I am so excited. I can't wait to share this with you guys because I actually ordered these diamond paintings on January 3rd of this year and they finally came in today. So yeah, that's a whole nother story that I'll get to in a minute. Um, but before I get there, I just wanted to share with you guys again, if you haven't seen my other videos where I do share my items, these are my new cover minders. So we have these studded tumbler Starbucks inspired trash minders. As you can see, they all come with these green straws and the magnets on the bottom as for the cover minder. So this is what they look like as a whole. We have two different styles on my Etsy shop. We've got the regular studs, which is kind of this is bigger stud. And then we've got this micro stud, which are smaller studs. And basically how it works is you unscrew the top, put this down on your diamond painting while this little cutie floats on the side and you put your trash in to the trash minder. When you're done, you just close this beauty up, stick it on the side for the next time you diamond paint. So yeah, guys, that's my trash minders that I have up on my Etsy shop. And I'll go ahead and link them in the description box just in case you're interested in it. Um, I also have these cuties coming out soon. So they're not quite yet listed. Um, I've been working on them. But these are my macaroon trash minders. Aren't they adorable? So basically, you open it up. And they are a trash minder. So they will have magnets on the bottom. So they'll go on your diamond painting. You can diamond paint, trash, trash, trash. When you're done, you just screw them back together. And done. And then you just put them on the side until you diamond paint again. So I am going to be releasing 10 different flavors of my macarons. So just so you can kind of see what they look like. Aren't they so cute? I think they're so adorable. So basically what these flavors means, it's just different colorways. So I'll have 10 different colorways for these macarons. And then I also have my new trays out. Look at these beauties. So these are my trinket trays or vanity trays vanity dish jewelry dish um, basically it's got this beautiful rainbow translucent color with glitter in it of course it has to have glitter and then we've got this white border which is like kind of like i'm calling it like a cloud series just like my shaker charms so if you can see how beautiful that looks almost reminds me of jello <laughs> but yeah so these are my new items so these are on my etsy shop and again i'll link it in the description box so that you can check them out these are coming soon probably sometime this week and i'll let you guys know on instagram of course when these are going to be coming out just in case you guys are interested in getting these trash minders as well so let me go ahead and put these off to the side and today was actually kind of an interesting day not only did my diamond shop diamond paintings finally come in but i've also decided that i'm going to be doing a complete rebranding of my etsy shop and my products basically i don't want to get too much into it because there is kind of a long history and background on it on when i started my etsy shop so i'll save that for a whip and chat that I'm planning to do probably in a couple of days and that way I can go more into detail about what this rebranding is gonna be my grand reopening as well as what my new Etsy shop name or it might not even be Etsy shop I, I'm thinking about making my own website as well my own store website so yeah but basically i mean of course it'll be my name my logo all the way around anyway but yeah so i'll go ahead and reveal that to you guys then but for now i want to get back to my diamond shop so i'm so excited i absolutely love 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 cherry yuki's artwork 
If you don't know who Cheriuki is, you can go to Diamond Shop, which is going to be linked in the description box, or you can even check out Jada Gem Shop. She also has some Cheriuki's diamond paintings, or you can just Google her. Her artwork is absolutely stunning, beautiful. This is my very first Cheriuki. So I am so excited because I literally, like I said, I've been waiting since January 3rd to get some of my Cheriukis. I haven't even gotten my Jaded Gem Shops yet either, which I did order some Cheriukis as well. But Die Moon Shop came first. So Cheriuki Die Moon Shop is going to be my number one unboxing. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. So, as you can see, Diamond Moon Shop does ship their diamond paintings in a box. It's like this black color box. It's pretty long. I wonder if you can see the whole thing in here. But there's like really nothing to it. It's just a basic Diamond Moon Shop box. And then, ta-da! Here's my girl. Isn't she gorgeous? Mermaids. I absolutely love mermaids. Love mermaids love mermaids i love mermaids <laughs> i can't even say that enough but anyway this one is called hydrangea and this one is by cheriuki it's a 60 by 60 round diamond painting so i will get to opening all right guys so here we have our diamond painting and i believe oh my gosh look guys she's so gorgeous oh my gosh okay so let's see what we got here we've got a basic toolkit here so we've got some tweezers we've got a bunch of wax here round and squares we've got a multi-placer a single placer pen a tray and a squishy so again this is just a basic toolkit that pretty much comes in almost all diamond painting kits and then here she is guys you know what let me go ahead and reverse roll her real quick just so she can be a little bit straighter all right guys here she is in all of her glory so again this is hydrangea by cheriuki i will definitely be putting up an original photo on the screen for you guys so that you can compare the actual photo to her rendering because i want to know what you think i want to know if you think she rendered nicely just based on what you can see here i know of course when you put the diamonds down it does still look a little different but you can kind of get the gist of it just by looking at how it's rendered coded here but yeah so this is again is a 60 by 60. we have our fabric canvas here so this almost feels like like the dreamer design fabric kind of like that cottony feel back here I must say though, Diamond Shop's canvases are pretty thin. So Dreamer Designs and even Diamonds Out Artistry that I just unboxed the other day, they're the same, almost the same type of material, feels like the same material, but the canvas is a lot thicker. So yeah, these are thin, but again, canvas doesn't really matter to me as long as the diamond painting looks good. Um, we do have these scalloped edges to prevent fraying, so that's good it is a poured glue canvas and i like how it has this cute little green border around it so that's a nice touch not all of the diamond paintings have borders so that's cool we've got our diamond Moon shop logo here and as well as their kind of insignia up here we've got her original photo and then we've got the legend it's only on one side it's going to be on the left side here so we've got our legend here it's pretty big i like it so it's very easy to to kind of read it just so you can see it up close this diamond painting has 36 colors so if you're not familiar with how diamond Moon shop works some of their diamond paintings you are able to choose the size um, some of them they only offer one size but you are able to choose the type of drills you get so they have rounds squares as well as um, candy drills which is crystal drills they call it candy drills I went with the rounds because I don't know I just like I've like I said in prior videos I feel like round diamonds softens the diamond painting and there's just some artwork that I feel like should be soft it shouldn't be so sharp and crisp like square diamonds do so Cheriuki's artwork is like watercolor very very soft artwork and I just feel like it would be perfect for me to do rounds for it again 
you guys might want to do squares. Some of you probably love squares and want to get it in a square. They offer that. So you can definitely do that. But for me, I went with rounds. It doesn't offer any special drills online, but they do have like one photo on there that tells you their recommendations for special drills that they do sell on their shop. So you can definitely check out that one photo and it kind of points out on the um, diamond painting where they recommend these special drills. So I did get special treatment drills, but they were shipped separately. So I'm going to have to probably include that in another diamond painting unboxing from Diamond Moon Shop. And that way you can see what their special drills look like. But I did get special drills for these. So if I recall, I believe it came in like it recommended it in like her fin as well as the moon. But if not, I can totally see where I want to put some special drills. I think metallics would look really nice in this as well as some crystals and ABs. So I do have special drills of my own that I purchased from Diamond Painting Drills. And if I, you know, don't have the ones that I want from Diamond Shop, then I'll just kind of add it myself. Oh, you know what? Hang on. It actually says AB here, AB5200. Um, we'll have to check that because I swear on mine it says it doesn't come with, with special drills. And I'm... Oh, no, it does. Okay. Sorry, I'm mistaken. I guess it does come with special drills. I It doesn't tell you what special drills. It just... Yeah, it just tells you if you want to order special drills, look at that picture. You can buy a special drill. So that's cool. So it does come with one AB. So again, 36 colors, one AB rounds. So just a little up close of her. Let's get up close and personal with this beauty. As you can see, we have both alpha numeric. I'm trying to see if I see symbols. I don't think I do. No, I don't guys. So it's just alphanumeric. So basically just like Diamonds Out Artistry. I love that. So we're not fighting and battling with trying to figure out which symbol is what. So we do have our symbols here. To me, it's very legible. I like, like, like what I'm seeing. Even like the dark ones, they use white um, for the font. So you can see it through the dark. But again, if you have an issue with seeing these symbols, you can definitely use a light pad. I like to use my art dot light pad and illuminate these spaces so I know where I'm drilling. The sad thing is I don't see round guides. You know I love my round guides. This one doesn't have it, but it's okay. I'm just going to struggle with my perfectionism, trying to make sure they're straight. <laughs> So one thing I do want to point out is there's a lot of color blocking. I think this entire white outside is basically color blocking. So I've done some diamond paintings where you kind of have like a background like this, where it's like a plain background, but there's still a lot of confetti going on in it where they add like details. And I think it's probably because of the photo. It probably has some of that color in it so that's always nice but this one is i'm looking at it it's all j's which is um let's see what is j it's this like off-white color here down here so yeah we've got a lot of color blocking here which would be really nice because i can section some really heavy confetti which is exactly what our beautiful mermaid has going on here and then when i'm like okay i need a break I can move over to some of this color blocking. So this one should be a nice quickie. Again, it's a 60 by 60, not too bad. I would say half of the diamond painting is color, or at least almost half of the diamond painting is color blocking, and then the rest is confetti. And yeah, so I'm really, really excited to do this one. I, I wanna see how Cheriyuki's diamond paintings come out in rounds because they have a lot of her diamond work on Dai Moon Shop, and I would definitely be interested in getting more. But at least now, if I do diamond paint in rounds, I can see whether or not it's something that I like, or do I want to try squares? Because I don't think I got any of her diamond paintings in squares, but I don't know. I have to, I don't remember, because <laughs> this was in January that I ordered it. So I have to double check that. But yeah, so let's get into the drills, guys. All right, so they do include this paper log, I guess. So it's not really a sticker sheet, 
but it does have all the colors and the codes on here so that's nice because you can always run this through your xyron sticker printer and make stickers all the out of these to kit up so we've got our original photo here which of course we can also make this into a sticker and stick it in our logbook which i'm definitely going to do and then we can use this for our kit up so yeah it just says hydrangea by Cheriuki 60 by 60 and i'm guessing this r means rounds all right okay so let's take a look at that a b so here is our a b guys it's the a b white 5200 so the standard white and this drill let's see so this is going to be h so it looks like it looks like it's sprinkled everywhere i see a bunch in her fin here i see a lot in her yeah in her fin her hair she has a bunch in her hair here so this would be really nice and some some even in this background here i don't know if this is flowers or coral because technically she's in the water but it might be like a floral background yeah i'm not sure i guess we'll see it when we when i do include that original photo on here but anyway this is sprinkled basically throughout the whole thing except for the moon everything has this ab in it so this is the white ab and again it's all in her tail her hair and there's some in her um bra <laughs> here and then we've got some back here in the background foliage all right and here guys is our big bag of j <laughs> so we've got a lot of j going on but again like i said this is a lot of color blocking the entire background is j so here we have it let's see so i really like these colors it's like i feel like it's almost like a toned down pastel -y color so we're gonna have like toned down purples almost like grayish purples look at that so i'm gonna assume that a lot of this is her fin and her um, hair but isn't this so beautiful i like this purple and i'm looking at the drills drills look pretty good i do see some trash offhand but you know what it's okay most of it is good from what i can see i don't you know like i said i see a little bit of trash so it should be fine and the sparkling of it looks really really nice i can see it when i kind of play with it i think you can see it too in the camera so i'm really really happy about that we've got flat bottoms which of course is always a must for diamond painting because those curved bottoms are a nightmare when you're trying to make it straight especially for me when i feel like it's just a little bit off and i have to move it over like <laughs> very very little and it's stuck because of those stupid bottoms but yeah anyway that's just me and then we've got like this peach here and this pink look at that i love this pink i mean blush honestly ugh, it's just so dreamy blush is such a beautiful color let's see where this goes what is this this is 819 so p oh wow this goes in her face and her skin okay i believe this one too yep so this is gonna be her skin color nice so this is kind of pinky but i'm curious to see how it how it goes again trust the process see how it turns out and then in our post review we can make you know notations on all that but again this is her skin and then we've got this nice bright blue which i believe goes all in the foliage in the back and there's some actually sprinkled in her fin here too that's cool so we have this blue and again guys feel free if you do decide to get this diamond painting to add your own pizzazz to it i'm definitely going to do that i love it i've been doing that since i've gotten my special drills and adding all these special drills to the diamond paintings that i'm doing i should be able to show you guys uh, miss print temps by orloa hopefully tomorrow i'll try and get that video out tomorrow the post review but i added special drills to that one and she looks gorgeous 
I can't even like decide whether I want to frame her and hang her or sell her. <laughs> but I think I'm going to keep it. So, but I don't know yet. I'm still deciding on that. But yeah, guys, so this is our beautiful hydrangea by the awesome Cherry Yuki. And Diamond Shop does license their artwork. So if you are interested in it, check out my description box. You can look at all their artwork. They have a lot, a lot, lot, lot of licensed artists on their website. Um, and so much beautiful artwork. The only down, the only downfall I would say for Diamond Shop is their diamond paintings are pretty expensive. So thankfully I had bought all of these when they had their sale going on for Christmas. Um, it ran into January. I think it even ran into February. Um, but yeah, it's pretty expensive. And then they charge a crap ton <laughs> for shipping. But I must say that Diamond Shop is very, very responsive and they're really, really good in terms of customer service. So like I said, I ordered my diamond paintings on January 3rd and I didn't get them till today. I reached out to them a few times and they were really quick about responding. I would say within 24 to 48 hours, they responded to me um, to kind of let me know what was going on. So I know the first email, they said that they were back ordered on the special drills, which is why they didn't send out my order. And then when I emailed them again, they were like, you know what, we'll go ahead and just send out your diamond paintings. And then when your special drills come in, we'll send those out. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Um, so they were really, really good about responding. And then they also refunded me my shipping because of how long it took. So thank you so much, Diamond Shop. I really appreciate that. You guys have awesome customer service. Um, so far, I, you know, don't have any complaints. And I can't wait to get these diamond paintings done and share it with you guys. But let me know what you guys think about her in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about Diamond Shop too. I'm really, really curious um, whether it's new to you and you haven't experienced Diamond Shop yet or you have experienced Diamond Shop. I want to know kind of how it went for you. I'm really, really curious about that. Anyways, guys. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot, lot, lot more content going on. And again, stay tuned for my new rebranding of my store. That should be coming out sometime this week. Super excited to share that with all of you. And let me tell you a hint. It's going to be around mermaids. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to be excited about that release and my grand reopening so if you guys want more information on that you can check out my instagram as well or follow me on youtube and check out my episodes i try to post daily i know i haven't been but i just got a lot going on so i try to post as much as i can and i appreciate those who stick with me and who are you know going on this diamond painting journey with me i really appreciate all of you so thank you so much thank you to all of you who supported my etsy shop and for purchasing my cover minders and all my diamond painting accessories that i do have and yeah if it weren't for you guys i wouldn't be where i am today so thank you well if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments if not hit that like hit that bell for notifications and you guys have a good night all right, guys, until the next episode, bye.